Welcome back, everybody, to the Detroit Lions franchise here on Madden 20. As today, season number five will be kicking off today. Our title defense begins. Last episode, we recapped the offseason, went over the preseason, so if you have not checked that out, I recommend you do so. But now that, we're, now that the offseason and preseason is done, we are officially locked and loaded into the regular season, and we'll be opening up the campaign against our division rival, the Chicago Bears, led by Khalil Mack, who we've had troubles with in the past. This is going to be a tough game, and if you look at the schedule, uh, this should be a pretty fun season. We're playing the AFC West, which means a Super Bowl rematch versus Kansas City. That will be on Monday night, the week after Thanksgiving, uh, which we will be playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Thanksgiving. Kind of wish we had the Chiefs for Thanksgiving because we are hosting Kansas City. So I think that would have been fun, but oh well, it is what it is. Also, remember that crappy quarterback from the preseason episode, Le'Veon Worrell? Well, the Seahawks signed him off our practice squad, so now we only have uh, two QBs in the entire organization with, uh, obviously, Tez Lawson and Matt Stafford, and I'm pretty sure a pretty bad quarterback was added to the practice squad. I do forget his name, but let's end the anticipation. Let's end the wait. Season 5, the 2023 season is now underway, and the defending champion Detroit Lions coming off a historical season last year. Obviously, the Lions went 16-0, the first team to go 16-0, and then win a Super Bowl. Obviously, the 72 Dolphins were 14-0, so you got to keep that in mind. This Lions team was very good last year. Now, most of Detroit's wins were close, so they weren't necessarily a dominant 16-0 team, but they found a way to win every single game, which is quite impressive. If you look at the Bears, they're in an interesting position. Obviously, led by quarterback Mitchell Trubisky, who's not awful, but... This division has three super young X-Factor quarterbacks, so the Bears are kind of a little bit behind everybody. Nonetheless, Season 5 is underway. Sam Martin with the kickoff, I believe, as uh, here now comes out the Bears offense, as I said, led by Mitchell Trubisky, and he's a very good quarterback. Now, in this division, you got Tez Lawson in his third year X-Factor, Louis Salazar on the Vikings in his second year X-Factor, and then the Packers rookie, Zachary Weary, who is X-Factor. So Mitchell Trubisky and the Bears kind of have to catch up. Third down, he's trying to get it to Allen Robinson, but the pass is broken up by the first-round rookie out of Louisville, Devontae Higgins. So here's now the Lion offense, led by Tez Lawson, coming off a great season last year, over 4,500 yards, 41 touchdowns, 15 picks. Now in his third year out of Florida State, second and six for Tez, and he's going to get sacked, as that is Rudy Ford, the defensive back who brings him down. So now it's third and 13. Here is Tez. Going to try to get it to his tight end, TJ Hawkinson. For the first down, and the Iowa Hawkeye bringing it to the 49. Contract year for TJ Hawkinson. I'd expect him to get paid very soon. First down now, Lawson is sacked by guess who? The sack attack from the Navy. Orange, white, and black. That is Khalil Mack. Second down now. Uh, Tez will get it over to Dwayne Stuber, another former Iowa Hawkeye for the first down. Now third and five. Tez going to scramble like he's late on a date. He's going to try to run for the first down. Nasty juke move. He doesn't have a skate artist or any of those mobile quarterback superstar abilities. But shoot. Nice move right there. Lawson now scrambling on first down. Looking for the end zone. He connects with his tight end, TJ Hawkinson. For the touchdown, and the Lions are on the board quickly, 7-0. Here's the Bears' offense. Hand off to the running back, and he is gone. Touchdown for Chicago. That's not even Tariq Cohen. That is the backup of his first career receiving touchdown, and this game is now tied up at 7. Lions have it. Lawson sacked again. The third time he's been brought down today, this time by Roquan Smith, the inside linebacker. Now third and 16, Lawson scrambling like he's laid on a date. Going to try to get it to Juice Juice Smith Schuster, but he just overthrows him a little bit. The Lions will be forced to punt it. Bears have it now, third down and six. Trubisky airing it out. Nice pass caught for a first down. There were four Lion defenders in the area, but none of them were close enough to jar the ball out. And that's Mitchell Trubisky's first completion of the game as we near the end of the first quarter. Play action now here for Chicago as Trubisky 
Airs it out for Anthony Miller. Bad coverage from Darius Slay. He's no spring chicken. He's like 32, 33 years old by now. Had the game winning pick in the Super Bowl last year, but he is starting to decline. And then there's Tariq Cohen, only five foot seven. He's damn small, but he's also damn good. And Chicago will take a 14 to seven lead. Nice run from Cohen. Lions have it back. Here's Carryon Johnson losing three on the run. Run blocking hasn't really gotten into a groove yet. O'Shane Zimenez is there with the tackle. Here's Carryon finding a hole. Gets a nice gain of about 12 or 13. And an extra 15 will be added on. Face mask on Tim Watt, the young X-Factor cornerback. I want to say now in his second or third season out of South Carolina. Now second at inches from the third, uh, 33. Tez going to scramble with it. Probably should have ran out of bounds. Instead, he went for the back juke. Fumbled it, and Tim Watt will pick it up, and the Bears will recover it. Trubisky now on third and three. Going to look deep for Anthony Miller, and he had it, but it was broken up by Sharning Budga. Once again, bad coverage from Darius Slay. Now the Lions have the ball back. From the 48, Tez fakes the handoff. Trying to go deep for Smith-Schuster, but instead he is brought down. There's Clayton Gathers going downstairs where Daddy hides the vodka. Now third and 18. Tough pass for Galladay, but he does make the catch. As my good friend Craniac Gaming would say, Gappy Galladay's. Now it's third and nine. Lawson in the zone. Short pass for Galladay. Nobody else was open. He was hoping that Kenny Galladay would do something after the catch, and he didn't. So now we're going to see the field goal unit. Here is the rookie, Tim John. His first career field goal attempt, and it is good. And Mr. Irrelevant will uh, add three points to the board. The Matt Prater replacement. Bears have it back now. Tariq Cohen uh, with a nice six-yard gain. And the motto for this drive for Chicago was slow and steady. Just run the ball. A nice pass for a gain of 11 from Allen Robinson. And the Bears are getting close to the end zone. First and goal. Trubisky. He will get it once again to his main man. That one is for Allen Robinson, and Chicago will make it 21-10 to here late in the first half. Lions do a three timeouts for what it's worth as Tez takes a shot for Juju Smith-Schuster. 65 yards to the house, untouched like weekend homework, and the Detroit Lions will make it a four-point game as we head to halftime. Second half underway. Lions with it. First play of the half. It's a jet sweep. For Galladay, he loses three. Khalil Mack brings him down. Bears have the ball now. Third down and seven from about midfield as Mitchell Trubisky. Going to look to throw it. He has an open man. That's the tight end. Trey Burton for the first down. And Sharding Buga tried to make a play on the ball. He probably should have made a play on the receiver. It actually doesn't matter, however, because of an illegal block in the back on Cody Ford. So uh, the Bears would not convert on a third and long. You would have to punt it. Lions have it back. Carryon Johnson loses two, currently at 19 yards on the day. Not all his fault, though. The run blocking just not there, as you can see. Second and 12. Carryon loses another yard, courteous of Roquan Smith. So now it's third and 13. Detroit going to look to throw it. And look at Tez Lawson trying to find the rushing lanes. He does fumble it. Luckily, it is recovered by Akeem Downing, the former first-round draft pick out of Washington. Bears will get the ball back. Now Trubisky. Short pass caught by Trey Burton. He breaks a tackle from Slay and is pushed out of bounds by Sharning Budga, but not before getting it to the 35. Second and 10 now. Trubisky going to air it out, and it is broken up and caught for a touchdown by Anthony Miller. He tried to get it to Allen Robinson. The pass was deflected, but Anthony Miller happened to be at the right place at the right time. And the Bears will make it a two-score game. Fourth and five of the 43. Lions going to go for it. They don't have much to lose as Lawrence Parnell gets the first down. The Super Bowl hero with his first catch of the game. He dropped two passes prior. Second and inches now from the 15. Carryon Johnson going backwards again, losing four. And to make things even worse, Juju Smith-Schuster is hurt, and his day would be done. Third and five now from the 19. Lawson on the scramble. Runs out of bounds at the two. And this Lions rushing attack is not playing like they did last year, as the Juju injury graphic would say on the screen. But usually Detroit doesn't have a lot of QB scrambles. But today, Tez Lawson has been scrambling and running it himself a lot more than he ever did last year. I think part of that is because that carry-on hasn't really found his groove yet. 
Carrion does get the touchdown and the two-point conversion right as I say that, however, and the Lions will cut the lead down to three. 28-25, just a field goal deficit. Trubisky on first down, going to take a shot, and this ball is intercepted by Darius. Big play slay. You can't spell intercepted without the D. Massive pick for the Lions, and they will get it back with a chance to take the lead. Second down, screen for Carrion, and he's just going backwards. Carrion just couldn't go anywhere today, and it's not really his fault. I mean, in the passing game, in the rushing game, the Bears' defense was just swarming him. And then the ensuing Chicago possession, 55-yard run for Tariq Cohen, and now the Bears are up by 10. 35-25, Lawson on second down, going to pull off some Deshaun Watson-like maneuver as he doesn't know what to do. Now he's off on the ground, and Tez Lawson trying to stiff-arm the defender, tackled all the way for 43. Massive run, however, for the Lions. Now third and 13. Tez under pressure, trying to get it to Hawkinson, but the pass is off the mark, and the Lions would decide to punt it. Bears have it at the eight. This is a what a punt moment, as on third and six, Trubisky just getting a short pass for Trey Burton. He gains about two, being chased out of bounds by Owen Jackson, the former Westlake Hornet. And now the Lions have it back. Still a 10-point deficit. First down, there's Khalil Mack with his second sack of the day. I am imp impressed with, all, with right tackle Marshall King. This is his first career sack, and Khalil Mack hasn't necessarily been a game-changer per se, as Mack did send a ton of pressure there. Lawson did uh, get it to uh, Galladay. And then back to Kenny Galladay. This has been Tez Lawson's favorite target today. Lawrence Parnell hasn't been great. Juju got hurt. And Galladay has been the dependable receiver. Now a third and goal. Tez looking for Lawrence Parnell. That's a touchdown. His third passing score of the day. Now it's 35-32. Lions defense just has to get a stop. They've been in this position plenty of times last year. Down late in games, but have found ways to come back. But this one might be tough. Tariq Cohen gets for first down. Now from the 48. Back to Cohen. Jukes out. Tracy Walker gets another first down. And he is gone. Tariq Cohen with the hat trick. His third rushing touchdown of the day. He has been a man on a mission. Now it's 42-32. Lions down by 10. Only with two timeouts. Things aren't looking great for them. But they are going to get the pass interference here. Lawson. Trying to get it to Hawkinson. That'll be an additional 15 yards from the contact. Now third and four from the 26. Tez under a ton of pressure, forced to throw it away. Fourth and four. Detroit will kick the field goal. They trust their defense to get a stop and then potentially get a touchdown. Tim John does make it, but now the Lions' only hope is to get a stop here, and they'll have maybe 20 seconds to run a few quick plays. Trubisky on first down is sacked by Trey Flowers. I don't know why they decided to throw the ball there. Third and 17 now. Detroit out of timeouts. The Bears are just going to knee it. They don't want to risk a turnover. So now the Lions have 17 seconds left. Got to drive down the field for 70 yards with no timeouts. Tess Lawson going to run with it. Lawson makes a nice move. Cuts past a couple defenders and gains 22. Now from the 48. The Lions are likely going to have to heave it deep. If the Lions don't score here, this will be the final play. Lawson for the end zone for Dwayne Stuber, and it's broken up. And the Chicago Bears will win the game. After going undefeated a season ago, the Lions lose here in heartbreaking fashion, 42-35. Tariq Cohen leading the way for the Bears, 23 carries, 233 yards, and three touchdowns. He absolutely dominated. And after going undefeated last year, the Lions will start this season off 0-1.